Hey guys, it is me Ubaid and today I will tell you how using retail AI can be a really bad idea if you are using it as an agency or as a freelancer who are providing their services by building the agents for uh, some businesses, right? So it happened with me. So I thought, you know, why not make a video and save uh, anybody if <laughs> they can uh, get into it, right? So yeah, I will tell you what is the problem and let me tell you if I have all the links open. So okay, so problem was as you can see I'm using or I was using retail AI for like uh many of my clients and i was already invited in like you know uh 18 20 something like that workspaces right so all of all of these right uh now i have built a couple of agents like uh, you can say uh 30 to 50 agents right uh which are like running uh as of now now what happened is uh, suddenly i couldn't accept any new invite uh, which was being sent to me by my client right so usually it happens like when uh, you and your client decide to use retail ai you tell them you know create an account there and just invite me in right this is my email so they go there they see this they go to workspace and the members they can just invite just like this client invited me right but when i couldn't accept any new invites i just sent uh because i was frustrated like five at least five plus clients was waiting for me to accept their invite and start working and we were already in contract right so you know uh it was it was not a good time to go over this sign up process again and again and uh, me asking them you know provide me your credentials because sometimes they use their google email right so they can't do that obviously so i wrote to the sport uh that hey i was invited into eight 18 workspaces but i'm not able to join any new so can you check whether it's a bug or some limit so that i can pay them uh and increase my limit right that was my intention right so i said my account is and i was surprised to you know hear their response uh and i think you should be also uh, or you will be also so they said hey bad i uh, don't have any limit but i provided some of the information they are so you know uh like clients are inviting me but i'm not able to join then i said like you know found one more person talking about it so it, that means it is actually happening uh so this was like in a school community and someone was not able to join any new spaces just like me so it is happening obviously but they are not you know interested into solving this then i see their uh, console like you know uh, you just click on the inspect element and see their console right everybody can see it now here they were telling me or they were like printing this error somehow uh, that accepting organization invitation payment overdue although my account was zero zero like there was no nothing to pay uh, to retail right so i said you know i'm seeing this on console and i don't have any overdue payment right yet i or my client has anything not uh, anything remaining to pay no upcoming invoices here i'm talking about like my client which is inviting me to his uh, space in retail right uh, because he signed up as a new customer and uh, obviously they he don't have anything uh, remaining to pay right how can he right so they said however one of the organizations you joined 
which is this one one of my clients has an overdue payment which may be causing this issue so that like telling us maybe it will be the issue like the this person is also not sure that this is an issue but after that he became like very sure <laughs> and uh, you know so okay got it but what does it have to do with me right like you know a client invited me now he is not paying to you but how can you block or restrict my account because of his actions right because he is the owner of his space right i am not you know uh, owner right they they can be only one owner right whose card is attached and who is responsible for payments how can i right so i say i am not uh, i mean i am not representing him right uh, and then i said and it is also happening i am not even able to uh, leave his organization or any organization so if i attempt to leave his organization they say a payment overdue if i want to join any new organization they say payment overdue right and not my payment some client payment right uh then they said really shocking thing how well you joined the workspace as an admin which makes you responsible for resolving the unpaid balance associated with it so you know that was quite interested because I have been using Wapi, right? Let me just write all of them. So I've been using Wapi. I've been using Anytan. I have been using what else? Make, right? Uh, I've been using uh, Zapier, right? All of them has this feature, and obviously, you know, this type of platform has these. I uh, usually have these features where you can invite the team members and I haven't faced anything like that because I joined something now I have to pay their outstanding balance right so I you know replied to that to be honest please don't take it as negative I want it to be respectful obviously but I am amused by your logic I mean how can a multi-million dollar company have such a pure logic right and i think that is you know uh quite uh i don't know how, how to put this but it is happening with this i, I think they are yc backed or i don't know uh who backed them but once they get funding they are not really interested in solving the customer problem but they are you know uh like interested in uh serving to the firms big tech firms if they are you know having the uh, ties or the contracts because they once you get funded you can have such contracts right and the same time they neglect their actual audience right so yeah so i said this is the first time i'm experiencing something like this okay so that was it and after that i uh, so I raised this issue into their discord community uh, they didn't said so none of them accepted except this guy except this uh, whoever the name is uh, this sport guy that it is you know legit and uh, you know everything is by book uh, that you join the workspace as admin so you are responsible right none of the other employee in the retail said to me even uh so this this guy is like super active on linkedin i you know send him this screenshot of the email his i said i explained the problem basically uh then he said however this is my first time hearing about this so he was also shocked as you can assume from this message about this so let me talk to the ev or whatever who whoever their employee is right i said thank you for taking note he said here he say how hey, we're still waiting on this from the team i don't know if they are working on a like remote uh settings or how they are working but uh you know so uh, just wanted to give you an quick update it was nice of him to keep me in the loop but nothing happens right i 
responded he didn't respond right so yeah that was it and so if you are you know uh, ju just assume like you know uh, you set up an account for some of your client a big call center and they have like uh, 20,000 you know uh, outstanding balance or whatever the amount is right and you wake up one morning and you see like you know uh, your balance has been deducted from your account because their account was uh, their card was not working it can happen right it didn't happen with me but since they are saying clearly we, like you are responsible for their unpaid balance so they can do it easily right they can charge you for some client which you joined so yeah uh, that was my take on this and so I do this you know agent building on a lot of platforms how you can uh, like get rid of these top level high level platforms like the WAPI retail uh, you know these kind of platform are charging you per minutes you can directly go to live kit and build your agents right obviously you we need some kind of technical knowledge into this because it is a developer first uh, platform it is not something ready to play with right so you have to build your agents and then you have to deploy and it is also open source right so retail is built on this platform live kit io so you can you know use this and i built a lot of agents with this and i'm quite happy with the performance right and they are quite cheap uh and stable uh versus retail or wapi or this kind of services uh, okay and if you are working on any custom project you can reach out to the email or the whatsapp or you can schedule a consultation session and we can talk about how we can build things together right so that was it for this video i hope you like it and yeah thank you bye bye take care